we were going to see one of our friends at the grog shop, and we we had on these belt for some reason these belted jackets that we had bought. And the guy was hammered, our friend, and he walked in. And it must have been really dark in there because he looked at us and just said, "It's the Suede Brothers." And uh, then when we had another show that our singer couldn't make, we just said, "I'm gonna do the show anyway." It's called the Suede Brothers, and you can sing. And we'll just we'll write all new songs. But we wrote like five songs that morning, and uh, played them at the show that night. And, and with that, stuck. One of us, or sometimes I'll bring a riff like to the table, like, either at practice or beforehand, and then we'll kind of uh, hash out like a song around a, a riff or something. Rolling Stone magazine called the Black Keys uh, Rust Belt Rock. I remember, but um, it's kind of the whole attitude of the Rust Belt. We kind of it's like down but not. It's real gritty, dirty, raw, natural. Trying to encompass the whole aesthetic of the Rust Belt, which is not only you know the music that comes out of it, but more importantly the people and the attitude. I'd probably say um, Zeppelin's a really strong base for all of us, but that's kind of like the dirt for our roots for our plant, so. Um, yeah, but more recently uh, Black Sabbath and the Queens of Stone Age and White Stripes. It's cool, I remember when we went to, we went to Boston and New York and like one weekend in the middle of a school week, or just in between two school weeks, and I was just like, oh, this, this, is, this is cool to be able to go to, to hit Boston and New York in, in one weekend and then go to school the next weekend, like nothing happened. Yeah, the band is definitely my priority over school, and um, if it came down to it tomorrow, if a good opportunity came up with the band, I would, I would put school on hold. We take it seriously. I mean, I see a lot of bands, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I see a lot of bands that just do it for fun, and that's great. I mean, have fun with it, especially. I mean, we have great time with it, but we, we take it seriously. There's been some important musicians we met. Uh, Dickie Peterson from Blue Chair, which a lot of people don't know about, but that was like, one of our first shows as Suede Brothers, it was like our crowning show that like really solidified us as the Suede Brothers and we were opening for one of the first power trios, hard rock in the whole time. So it was pretty good. Thanks for the support guys.